Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. It is 3.25 p.m. on September 18, 2024 in Fairview, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 18 degrees outside on a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.4 kilometers starting by Bus Bay 3 of Broadway City Hall Skytrain Station, then stroll north on Canby, west on West 7, north on Ash, northeast on West 2nd, ending my trek outside of Canacabana at 191 West 2nd Ave. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forrester here. Just walking along the Canby Street route right now. It's over here because of uh, the Broadway City Hall subway project. And we'll walk down the street here. We're gonna cross a Canby Street here. We're over by Broadway or Broadway City Hall subway station. Skytrain station as well, you can describe it as that. Both Vancouver is to describe the subway, the Skytrain when it goes underground, both as a subway and a Skytrain. And some people use it interchangeably. So uh, <laughs> feel free to do that. But its official term is the Skytrain. That's why you have uh, the Broadway Subway Extension Project that's running along West Broadway Street near here. And, uh, they call it the Subway Extension Project instead of Skytrain Extension Project. <laughs> Though it will be the extension of the Skytrain route from the Millennium Line that'll run all the way from Clark Station to the new station that's. Oh, getting rapidly done, which is the Emily Carr University Station. And that would be called the Emily Carr Station, above by the Emily Carr University of Art Plus Design. That'll make that school even bigger. Major hub right there. And that'll be good. That'll elevate the uh, Arts University that's over there right now. And we'll cross the street here. We're crossing West 8th Street here on Canby. So uh, uh, several offices there in the area. You can see right here, whoops, camera didn't want to go. There is spaces right there. So you'll get food trucks over here too. And if you got some really good eyes over there, that is the Canadian headquarters for Best Buy right here. We're of course on the Fairview side of Cabby Street, but uh, Best Buy had Canadian headquarters are over on the uh, Mount Pleasant side of Cabby Street. Not too far away. Pretty cool. Keep walking here. And over here, we're at West 7th and Canby Street. Hey. 
and we'll cross the street here. If you continue this way, you'll uh, end up over at the next SkyTrain station, which is over at Olympic Village. I'm going to turn down West 7th right now, here in the Fairview neighborhood. Show them Fairview some love. It's, it's a highly underrated neighborhood with a lot of nice shops and restaurants in it. And if you live in the area, you know that it's, it's a pretty nice neighborhood. I mean, you're living in apartments <laughs> or single family dwelling homes, but uh, highly underrated. And the subway extension project right now is putting a little damper on the scenery of it. But this, uh, this area is gonna even grow even more. It's got the hospital in the area. Got a whole bunch of different hospital services everywhere. So, so good. There's gonna be so many jobs over here in the future once the subway extension project grows even bigger. And gets near completion. It's supposed to be done sometime in 2026, so it'll probably be open by 2027 or 2028. <laughs> Lots of nice little restaurants in here. Here's one of them right here. This is Cafe and Lyco. <laughs> yeah, looks like they do rice bowls. Very cool. And they're just tucked in here amongst the buildings. So it's definitely a neighborhood to come to to keep your eyes open for. All the little things that uh, it has to offer. Fairview is also in the neighborhood where Granville Island is located. A major a tourist site in the area. And it has part of West 4th Ave that connects on over to the Kitsilano area. And that busy retail strip over there. Let's head down this way. Just passing by the optical factory. Or factory optical. <laughs> oh, you can get an eye exam here. And walk in. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Keep walking here. This will be Ash Street we're on. the street here. Behind these trees here is a subsidized housing in this building right here. Social housing as uh, other people would call it. And then in and around the area, the other buildings will be more of apartments, office space, and single family dwelling homes. in here. This is West 2nd Street we're on right now. And the bridge that's above us there, that is our Camby Street Bridge. This connects to Camby Street, of course.
And uh, this is the Olympic Village Station right here. And look at the artwork they're putting up there today. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I like it. <laughs> and we're just waiting for the light to change. This would be the intersection of Canby Street and uh, West Second. And of course the bridge is where the street would continue. Let's wait for the light to change here. I think we can cross. <laughs> just being extra cautious. I am walking with the camera. That, it does serve as a distraction. <laughs> I learned a long time ago to be cautious on streets. <laughs> Doing this. And making videos, walking videos. And this would be uh, West 2nd Avenue can be again. You can see over here the third Thruway is over here right now. And it'll take you up and onto the bridge. And over here, this is our police station right here. That's our local police station. Over there on Canby and West Fifth. Continue walking on this way along oh, West Second Ave here. I'm gonna go pick up a package two blocks over. Might be three. <laughs> we'll find out. Now we're walking past uh, Anytime Fitness, the Falls Creek location. And over here, uh, this structure right here, now it's a PetSmart. And it kept the old facade of the original building on the outside here. It's nice to see. Yeah, it's uh, just the PetSmart on the inside, which is a pet store. Over here, this is where West Third starts. We we'll keep walking here. We'll continue on West 2nd here. We're on the outskirts of uh, the Olympic Village here. Over here a lot of these uh, residential housing that we're walking past right now. That's uh, condominiums and apartments now. Well, it's built for the Olympic athletes or renovated for the Olympic athletes depending on the building. From the 2010 Winter Olympics. And then of course they uh, Sold off the properties or rented them out. Some of them. Afterwards, uh, some people that wanted to live in the area, you know, live in them. 
Well, very, very cool. Over here is Crow Street. We'll cross Crow Street. We continue walking along the West Second. This is the old sin bin we're walking past now. It's eventually going to get torn down. A big old tower is going to get replaced. Or replace it. This used to be a big popular club back in the day. It's heydays are now long gone. Same thing with the, the Fairview Bar as well. Long gone now. <laughs> now we're here, we're passing by some social housing. That's how you see a gate on over there at the side of the building. Usually see some interesting characters floating around too. If you mind your own business, even with the camera. People, they're just people too. It's just train them like people. People tend to keep to themselves. <laughs> and then over here, this is Concord Avenue 1. Giant, a giant building from the Olympic Village. More in width than anything else. Oops, camera didn't come down. <laughs> That's okay. We fixed it. Let's keep going. And up ahead of us, this is uh, Columbia Street. Yeah, the local nook over here, nook is your uh, Italian restaurant. You'll see nooks even over on Demon Street. And uh, either along West Broadway in Greektown, or it might be on West Fourth Ave in the Catalano neighborhood. One or the other. It's there. <laughs> and here's my stuff. I'm going to make a pick up a package right on over here. So anyways, folks, thanks for coming along today. And just remember to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good day.